Hello my lovely YouTubers! So in this video I just wanted to show you a quick bloom video for my catacetum. This is one of Fred Clark's crosses. It is Catacetum Bella Vista's Sangria Jamie's Purple Passion by Catacetum Piliatum Variation Imperial SVO Blood Red. So it's number 5245. And I can't be sure that it is what the tag says it is because I was actually getting a lot of people on the Catacetine Facebook group saying that it's too different from all of the other siblings to be what it says it is. Um, and that's because none of the other siblings have this kind of spotting and they also don't have the fimbriated lip. Uh, it could be that mine is the anomaly and got the fimbriated lip from one of the grandparents, which is a species orchid. Can't remember the name off the top of my head, but if you go and look at one of Bella Vista, Jamie's Purple Passion, if you look at one of those parents, um, it is a species and it's actually fimbriated. So it could be that this orchid got um, the grandparents' attributes for the fimbriated lip. It does have a very, very nice wide lip like the Piliotum does, and the SVO Blood Red, I mean, it does have very, very dark maroon, but everyone was saying that it's probably not what it says it is, but I emailed the grower, Fred Clark, and he said it is within the realm of possibility that it is what it says it is. So I don't do a lot of tag misplacement. Um, in fact, for my catacetums, I don't take the tags out, and if I do, I put them immediately back. Uh, so it's not a mistake on my end at all, and I can say that with 100% certainty, because I take such meticulous care of my catacetums and the tags, because knowing the names of the orchid is very, very important for showing the orchid, and because I do want to show a lot of my catacetums, I pay extra close attention to them. So it's not a mistake on my end, but I can't say that there wasn't a mistake somewhere along the lines before I got this orchid. Now if you're wondering why this is broken off and shriveled, I actually had a little bit of a mishap earlier when this spike was developing and it actually a huge gust of wind when one of our storms came through blew this thing off the shelf and of course all of the buds blasted except for these two right here the other one is actually upside down because i changed it from where it was originally and so it moved towards the sunlight and i didn't catch it in time so i actually only have this one bloom that's actually right side up but I do think it's a very, very lovely bloom, and I can see attributes from both parents and even grandparents in this cross if it is what it says it is. Uh, the Piliotum really comes through with that nice, big, wide lip. I love Piliotums. Um, I'm much more of a Catacetum fan when they have the big, big, big uh, lips, and I really do like the fimbriations on lips, but I really do like that Piliotum has a nice, crisp, wide lip. Uh, but if this is what it says it is, I see attributes from both parents, and Fred Clark's assurance makes me feel better that this is correctly identified, but if you guys see anything or you have this cross and maybe yours looks completely different or looks exactly like mine, that would be great, and you can send me pictures. Um, and then maybe I will feel more confident because I have seen a lot of siblings from this cross and they don't look anything like mine. Uh, if you go to the Catacetine Facebook group page, you can actually see lots of pictures of the siblings from this cross. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and show you this lovely Catacetum bloom. And hopefully the next spike that comes off of this plant will not be destroyed. Uh, it does have a new growth right there, so you can see the brand new little baby growth poking out at the bottom, so fingers crossed I don't destroy it. So there's the other bloom, which is upside down, but still very, very nice. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get more videos just like this one, or even better in the future. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for real-time updates because that's where I post blooming pictures of my orchids before I do a video about them. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you later.